So, today we're gonna start the solar panels because it's not raining. Very change. Okay, so these two, our uh, our two solar panels, each of them is 270 watts. Now, to do with the tilting, because I know some of you will know that we are planning to tilt the solar panels. Today, we're not going to be doing the tilting rig. So the tilting rig is uh, still, still in its uh, design process. So to stop the solar panels from uh, gathering dust in the house, we're gonna put them on our roof, okay? And we're just gonna mount them flat to start with, uh, and we're gonna uh, sort of like pre-position things ready for the tilting when we're ready. Anywho, uh, let's get on with the wiring and uh, drilling a few holes in our nice panel. Just a quick tour of the solar panels. So like we said, they're 270 watts and they are Perlite. The brand is Perlite. And the reason we went with these ones is I don't know whether you can tell ju ju just from you know looking at it, but this solar panel for for its wattage uh, and its general size, it's more square, which is better for the uh, Sprinter and Crafter van roofs. So to install these, we're going to be using our unit shred that we installed last spring. And the first thing we're going to try to mount them is just simply do brackets on either end. So these are our unit struts here, and one way that we could mount them is technically L brackets or these uh, Z brackets and it's the Z brackets that we've picked uh, because for the L brackets you have to drill on the side and, uh, and uh, I don't know, know entirely what, I, what I'll be drilling it because that is a double wall and I, like it might be just a, a cavity it probably just is but I'm not sure and either way I'll have to drill it very low down because you have the solar cells right about here so it's better to mount on the back and then on the side. That is what we're going for. So the, the Z holds the panel underneath, goes down, and then it goes into the unistrut here. Ooh, there, there you go. go. That's why you have the wood. Because as you go through the barrier, the thing just jerks back. Now, I'm wondering... This is aluminium? Feels like aluminium. Which means we don't need to rust protect it. Yeah, it'll just do it tough. Plenty of space to wiggle that around. So we've got an M8 bolt, we've got an M8 washer. Then now imagine this is the actual solar panel. So that's the frame of the solar panel. Now on top of that we've got the Z bracket itself. Then we've got a big M8 penny washer that goes over there. Then we've got an M8 spring washer. And then we put our M8 nut on. And we tighten all of that down. Tight. And there you go. That's not coming off at all. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Repeat that seven more times. Cool. Can't wait. So, how we're going to connect these panels together, we're going to take the negative of the first panel, so this is the negative here, and we're going to connect that to the positive of the second panel. And connecting them in series basically means the voltages get added together, but the ampage stays the same, which means we can use thinner wire to bring it inside without losing too much power. So what we need to do is extend the positive and the negative that are gonna go from the solar panels into the van. So to do that, we've bought some four mil solar cable. And what we need to do oh, is we need to basically put one of these connectors on the end of our spare cable. So to connect these on, we've got the female end and the male end, and the female end will need the smaller of the two uh, inside connectors. I'll leave a link to this in below, it's only £2.50. First thing we do, we need to strip the end of our four mil wire. There we are. Pop that inside this end, pushing that all the way up, there we go. And now we just need to crimp this. So that's mm -hmm. it connected, so I can't pull that off, that's staying on there. So with that on, we can undo the female end, put the end cap on the wire, then we can put that over the top until it clicks. There you go, that goes on. And then we just tighten this down and this will clasp the uh, rubber bit of the wire and make this a waterproof connector and will not make it fall off. So, Got the solar panel here and as we can actually see the solar panels actually tell us which one is positive and which one is negative which is very helpful. 
So if we connect those together. Okay, so that's the, ex the extended one. There you go. Yeah. So you do the same on the negative. There you go. So both this one and the one over there connects to the MPPT, the blue box in the van. Yep. Actually, a good idea is to uh, mark your positive cable with something red, either a uh, heat shrink or uh, electrical tape. Just um, mark the cable before you put it in through the roof and the gland, because it can get kind of confusing once things are, you know, inside. Yeah. Uh, I guess they're, they're ready to go up. We just need to get them on the roof. So. so you must pivot the other way. No, I'm gonna lift it that way. We can't. Why? How are we gonna how are we gonna flip it around here? You're gonna flip it away. How? <laughs> A bit closer! Close to the yeah. Okay. Okay, okay. Got it. Alright. Are you okay. holding it? Yeah. yeah. We got it. Don't drop it on my head. Solar panels are up. One is here and one is here for now. It's yeah. going to be moved right there in a minute. We need to put our solar gland, so where the cables are going to actually go into the van, between the panels because we just have enough space. Can you test where, where, in which gap it fits? There? Or does Can it we fit it in here? Oh, look at that. It was designed for it. Holy moly, yep, yeah, we're fine. That's yeah. well away. Now that the primer has dried, we have these grommets. We're gonna put them in the holes and then the cable's gonna pass through there and hopefully not get damaged through the vibrations when the van moves. Okay, so testing the cable, going through. Seems to be fine, F fine yeah. for my end. <laughs> it looks so weird, it's like a worm or a snake. Right, so next step is to stick down the gland. Yes, we need to think about the slack though, because we need to leave enough slack for a future tilting mechanism. Should we just leave the one and a half meters of slack on the roof? Yeah, give or take. Right, so the blue here, uh, this blue line marks where we want this to end. So this, this, this marks the slack that we want to leave. Oof. Right, I don't want to tighten that too hard right now. So we're going to feed it down again, and this time run it all the way down to check Sam's measurement. Okay, so we've put the sealant onto the gland. Now we're gonna push that back in. This is on the fair amount of tension. Yeah. Think about there? Yeah. Just hold on. Right, so that sealant has stuck it down. And now we're gonna use our roofing tape here to um, help us waterproof it a little bit better. So this is the stuff that we used on the Max fan after the max fan leaked and it has been absolutely brilliant. I can tell you once it's stuck down it never comes up. Right so now that that's on okay and drying and everything what we need to do is uh, bring that here and screw both of these on and what happens is as you tighten that these compress these little um, what is it fingers compress mm -hmm. and that should waterproof the, those holes. All right that's as tight as I can get it I think Okay, so the solar panel has moved back into place and now our bracket is over our spring washer. That's it. So now we need to do this. So this is our bolt, another washer, and then the big washer. Um, to spread the weight. You know, honestly, I don't know whether we actually need that, but whatever. What, the giant square one? Yeah. It's what's recommended. Cool. <laughs> okay. I guess that's how tight it's going. Uh, the solar panels survived the night and a minor drive at uh, what is it, 30 miles an hour max. So we're just going to make sure that all the bolts are tightened and then we need to cover them 
and connect them together and then we can wire them on the inside. The reason we want to cover them is because whilst the sun is out they're going to be producing electricity and whilst we're wiring it up we don't really want electricity running through all the cables. And yes, this counts as the sun being out. <laughs> right, so now that we've got the solar panels completely covered so they're not producing any electricity, we can start wiring it up. So, these are the ends of the solar panels that we need to connect together. Now, let's see if I can do this one-handed. There we go. Right, so they're connected together. We'll tuck that under there. There we go. Right, and now everything else is on the inside. But we'll leave this here until everything's wired up. Then we'll take it off. Right, so these cables are going in there. I'll black onto it right here, okay? And we have just finished drilling these holes. Can you see them? It's kind of hard. There they are. Yeah, and we're also going to put a grommet. Let's put this back in its conduit just go in just like so there we go so we've got see red positive mm -hmm. and this must be our negative now they need to go let me direct you so this is our MPPT here we've got a Victron MPPT we've already wired it to the batteries as you will be able to see That's here it. So we've got the battery positive and negative which is already wired up and then here we've got PV which is our solar panels so our positive is going to run in there and our negative is there and the only other thing we're going to do is we're going to put an inline fuse on the positive before it goes into the MPPT because this way if the solar panels are malfunctioning or something happens we don't damage the MPPT the fuse will blow before the MPPT hits its limit so we can put a fuse in here to ensure that the fuse will blow before we hit 50 amps going through the MPPT because that is more expensive than this. Is it, is it time? Is there anything else to do? No. Uh, the only other thing to do is to open the Victron app. Oh, of course you need to do an update. Fine, fine, fine. We'll let it do its update. Did it. I bring gifts. Bring gifts? Mm-hmm. Oh. Gifts. Mother's making cake. <laughs> so to, th this, this is the cream and, 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 and that's the scraps of the, um, of the sponge. Yeah, I see. You want some? Sure, I guess whilst we're waiting for that to update. Cake. Don't judge me. I know you will. That's what you do on the internet, but still. <laughs> so looking at it, we need to be on position seven because we got lithium batteries here. So how do we do that? Fully programmable charge algorithm. See the software page on our website and eight pre-programmed charge algorithms. Select with a rotary switch. Is there a switch on the actual? Oh. There is, actually there was. That, yeah. That weird thing. Right next to the VE direct port, see there? That, oh, that's a switch. So that's pointing here. So that's on option two at the moment. We want it on option seven for lithium batteries. Elegant as always. Hmm. Right. There we go, that's set it. Okay, let me take off the uh, cardboard then. Can you keep an eye on that? 300. 300, yes. Come on, 320. You can do it. You can do it. Come on, Cloud, go 350. away. 350. You can do it. <gasps> 350. What's our limit? 570. Nice. On a perfect day. So and this is and without, tilt. This is without any tilt. Uh, you can do it. And Come with on. cloud diffusion. Go away, clouds. We can get to 400. Maybe not today, but you can do it. That's bright. 350, 350. I'm getting hot. I need to move my buff. <laughs> Come on. You can do it. Go away, clouds. <laughs> yes. You 360. You can push it. 370. Go. 380. 390. <gasps> Come on. 400. <gasps> yes. Oh, 420. Yeah. Oh. Cool. Yes. Okay. Success. We can, we can go home now. The bolt light is permanently on. That means good? Yep, that means it's charging. Regular operation here it says. Bulk light on, permanently on. In regular okay. operation. So looking here, the fault stuff, now nothing is a solid light, so nothing there is blinking. Yeah, and so that means it's good. Yeah. <laughs> we have power from the sun. Yeah. In our van. And now it's all about improving the efficiency which is where the tilting comes in. But for start, they're working, they're charging, 
and we just need to see how, how to set up the BMV now that now that the solo is involved because that is, um, you know, slightly affects it a lot. Yeah, so I think we're gonna end it here. If you have any advice on uh, how to set, set up the Victron uh, Smart BMV with like the solar panels when you have charging from the alternator as well and, and so on and so on, then please leave it in the comments below. Other, other than that, I'll see you next week, I guess. Firmware updated. <laughs> Yay. I need that instruction manual I threw over there. Go get it yourself. That's like seven meters away. Oh, seven meters. <laughs> Th seven meters that that is not seven meters long <laughs> that's like three meters away <laughs> you have uh. you have you're too good of a shot it's just too far fine i'll go get it thank you bye <laughs>